Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tronage, and today we're going to be talking about Drone Drop for December 2018. It's the last box of the year. Want to know what's inside? Stick around. New Year's is right around the corner, and guess what? We still got a December drone drop to unbox, which I am so psyched about. It's the last one of the season, hoping it's going to be something really good. You know, it's kind of like that whole holiday season, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or any other holidays that you may be celebrating, and it'd be nice for them to have uh, given a little, little something extra, I'm hoping, fingers crossed. So what we're going to do, we're going to crack it open. Bring all in close. We'll go through it, see what's inside, see see what I think about these things. And then I'll do a little cost analysis as well so you can kind of see is it worth it or not worth it and maybe help you make a decision if this is something you may want to purchase or not. But before we do that, if you're new around here, maybe hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, hit the bell icon. It basically just makes finding my videos a whole lot easier. You're notified when I post new content and it just helps grow the channel. So please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get to it. All right, here we go. Drone drop box and an X-Acto blade. Let's put these together and see what we got. Flip through. Get in here to cut that seal. A little pre-open action so I can grab it. Flip over. And here it is. Wow. All right. So let's talk about this. First off, I'm loving these Mr. Steel stickers. These are freaking awesome. As well, some uh, ethics stuff, some mustaches. Really cool sticker sheet. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Next, I'm going to go for the props because I see them more on top. And, you know, they're not really more on top, but the other stuff's probably a little bit more exciting. So we'll save the best for last. We got some ethics props here. They're the S3 prop in watermelon. Watermelon is meaning that you have a mix of reds and greens. What's intriguing is this pack has three in one, three green, one pink, and the other two have two and two. So I don't know if that's a miss pick or a miss bag on the ethics part, but this does have three greens and one pink versus two and two like the other two packs. Something to keep in mind when you're doing a little mixed bagging here. And it also, it doesn't say on the sticker here what the dimensions are, the pitch direction and stuff, but I just looked it up and it, they're actually a 3.1 pitch. So essentially these are a uh, five by 3.1 by three props is what these are. And they are HQ branded props that are branded with ethics. If you look at the blade on the edge, it does say, uh, HQ prop on one blade and on one blade it says uh, ethics s3, but it doesn't indicate the actual pitches So I had to look that up does the side What else we got here? Let's go for this thing. It is the Viva FPV high viz battery strap in orange Basically, it looks like an ANSI reflector Pretty much what it is that's your basic battery strap, but just with a lot of high-vis orange. The only problem is that it's a great concept, but once you put the battery in it, majority of all that high-vis is on the inside where you don't see it. So, yeah, because that's how you would mount your battery strap. So you just get this little tail. The rest of that on the inside is all blocked. So... And it doesn't even really, it's more slippery than anything. So your battery probably will slide out of it. So I'm not sure I'm going to like that. But, uh, you know, I'm willing to give everything a try. Okay, next. Team Black Sheep product. We have the Mr. Steel earbud. But ba bam Yeah. I already have one, but now I got two. Yeah, I picked that up when it first came out long, long ago. But that's pretty cool to get another earbud. 
basically you can put it in different spots because I always end up forgetting the stupid thing. It's so tiny. But I already did a whole review on this guy. If you want to check out my review on the whole earbud, you can check up in the corner up there and you'll see a link to in the cards to this video. What else we got? We got the Ethics Tyrannus Screen Protector. Wish I had this long ago. My screen is all scratched up. But hey, you know what? I can put it on now and prevent it from getting more scratched, I guess. But that's pretty cool. And what we got here? We got a TBS Triumph left hand circular polarized. Keep in mind, left hand here, folks. So if you're going to use left hand, I mean, what's great about left handed is that it kind of, uh, well, well, we'll talk when we talk about it, but these are the left handed version. That's why they are orange, not black. And you have to make sure that if you're going to use left hand on your quad, you put a left hand on your uh, receiver because otherwise it's not going to work so well. But that's cool. Basically, a pair of stubbies in the left hand, which is really cool. And, oh, that is cool. I was actually thinking about picking up one of these frames, and I didn't. And I'm glad I didn't because now I have it. I've been really intrigued about this Source 2 thing. Uh, it's basically an open source carbon fiber frame that Team Black Sheep kind of came up with doing but it's completely open source, so people make mods and improvements and changes and everything. I thought that was a really cool concept, and uh, I wanted to check it out. Now I can. Really, really, really cool. So to recap, open source two frame, two stubby Triumph antennas, screen protector, earbud, battery strap that probably is going to stink, uh, three sets of props, and a sticker sheet. All right, I'm gonna run some numbers and we'll talk. All right, numbers are in. There you go. I know, it's on the other side. I figured I'd switch it up a little bit now. Put the numbers over here instead of over there. Whatever. Anyway, drone drop is stepping up. Merry Christmas to me, I guess, because this had some great value in it. But we have a little couple concerns as well, as always. But I'm not gonna be a crybaby about them, but we'll talk about them. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's going to work. So, first up, these ethics props. You've heard me say it once. You've heard me say it, oh, probably about 20 times because I've been saying it pretty much every time I get a box that I love getting props. I love getting new things, trying new things, and seeing just what works well with what I'm trying to do. So, getting some ethics props, something new, something you know, uh, these S3, which are 3.1 pitch, so it's a very low pitch. So in my head, I'm thinking, well, that's going to be a high RPM, maybe like a 6S. I'm not sure. I have to, like, look into it a little bit more, but I definitely love the Mr. Steel stuff, love the ethics stuff. So the Miss Pick that I was mentioning where I got three green and one pink in a pack, I they are actually two clockwise and two counterclockwise props. It's just I got one of them being green instead of pink, which... I don't really care because the color really isn't as important to me as its performance, but it is kind of odd that it has a, a miss pick, like they grabbed the wrong prop for the wrong color kind of a thing, I guess. I don't know. So, but other than that, excited to try these out. Next, this uh, high-vis battery strap. As I said when I was unboxing it, immediately when I first saw it, I said, oh, that's a great idea. We can have it on there and if you lose your quad it'll be easier to spot because it'll be you know bright colored i think it's reflective okay cool and then i said wait a minute but when you put it on your quad all that goodness is going to be hidden by the battery and in fact that's the part where you usually put like the grippiness so yeah so it's not really grippy on your pack and it kind of hides it so i'm gonna have to say like for for this battery strap but it's a battery strap nonetheless and if you need one you have one now you got it love 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 this earbud i use it all the time it's it, it it's just awesome it's cheap it's affordable it's 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 simple it's you just plug it in off you go you're done i did a whole review about this and if you want i linked it earlier you can check the link in the description below but i did a whole review on this earbud i think it's a great earbud 
and I'm really happy to have it and now I have a spare one so I can put it in my gear bag in case I forget to bring it I leave it at home something along those lines so it's cool to have another one so this screen protector I got a little I got a little ahead of myself when I said I was all excited about to use it because I just saw oh, ethics Tyrannus I thought oh well gee why wouldn't I get the screen protector that would be for the Tyrannus Mr. Steel transmitter right you'd think no nope 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 qx7 that's what this is for i i don't have a qx7 i have an x90 plus so i can't use this so so now i'm not going to be all crybaby about it that i didn't get the one that matches to my transmitter but being that it's mr steel and ethics stuff you would have thought that they would have included the one that you know I don't know. That's just me. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I might just have to go buy myself a QX7 to put it on. Now, the one thing to keep in mind with a left-handed polarized antenna is that you have to make sure everything's left-handed. So if you have a diversity module, cool. You put one of these left hands on your Omni spot. You put one of these left hands on your quad. Cool. But now what are you putting on your diversity module? If you're directional antenna that typically people put there is right hand polarized it's not going to work that well so you're going to need a left-handed polarized directional antenna as well so keep that in mind now my assumption is the reason why we got these in the drone drop was because they probably don't sell as many of these as they do the right hand polarized so probably was one of those you know, looking around the warehouse, what do we got a lot of? All right, that's what we'll send to the guys at Drone Drop. That would be my guess. But I could be completely wrong. However, I love having a left-handed polarized set because there has been sometimes I've had some interference, swapped everything to left-handed versions, and I was good to go. So it's cool having Triumphs now in a left-handed flavor as well. And that brings us to this. This is my favorite thing in this whole wide box. And that is the Source 2. This is actually their second, I don't wanna say version, because each of these has their own version. So let me, let me give you a little backstory. So basically, you know, the concept behind this frame is it's an open source frame. It's donated to the community. All the files, all whatever you need, like you can get the files, make your, your adjustments, your changes, send it somewhere to have it cut and they can cut out a frame for you. All the work and everything's all been done and it's donated to the community to make improvements, to make changes, to do whatever you want with it. It's an open source project. Started with the source one. And as there were new versions, new updates, new changes, you would have the source one version 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and such. So you would know exactly what you were buying if you bought the kit. The source two is now their second frame that they've now designed and donated to the community. And this one's goal is primarily for race, lightweight, that sort of uh, an angle for it because you know you can't really have everything be perfect for every situation it's just the saying jack of all trades master of none that's the same thing if you want it to be really good at something you're going to have to sacrifice somewhere else and i've been really having my eye on these these products because you know i'm always looking for different frames and i think the concept of it being open sourced is great because i can take this frame build it up and then say you know what if only it did this that or whatever well, you know what? If I want to, I can take those files, do this, that, and whatever, and send it somewhere to have it cut and get my frame back. And now I have my own custom frame based off of this open source project. So I think that's really cool. And, you know, one of the biggest things I think is to grow this hobby and having a cheap frame that's a good frame. And when I say cheap, it's relatively cheap. You know, this frame is basically the same price as all the China knockoffs. It's like, you know, the $25 mark, which is what you can get a, uh, a Martian 2, which is the copy of an alien frame and stuff. So here you're getting like a branded product that's the same price as the knockoff stuff. And it's open source, meaning you can figure it out, make some changes and, and do what you want with it. Or, you know, take those changes and submit it back to the community and 
have the frame just evolve over time to become, you know, one really awesome thing. And that's what's really important is just growing this hobby. That's why I'm really happy I got that. And I'm really psyched to really check it out and, you know, do a build with it. So now looking down the list, you can see that this box is pretty darn strong. It's got a lot of value over the, the cost. And there's some quality products in here. Now, granted, I feel like that, um, you know, a few of these things like this being the left-hand circular polarized instead of the more common right-hand polarized might be a little issue. The screen protector, I'm sure there's going to be, you know, crybabies out there saying, you know, I don't have this transmitter. Why didn't you send the X9D uh, screen protector? Um, there's going to be, I don't use earbuds. Why am I going to have an earbud? Okay, great. And people like me, well, this reflective strap stinks because it doesn't have any grip and the reflective parts covered with the battery anyway. But with those things aside, everything's going to have a couple issues. Bottom line is I am super excited about this box. More superly excited about this frame. Really want to try that out and check it out and see what's up with that. I hope that helped you out. I hope you found some information here of value. If you haven't already yet, please smash that subscribe button. We're trying to get up to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. Prove me wrong. I don't think it's gonna happen because only a couple days left in the year, but hey, prove me wrong. Slam that subscribe button, hit the like, hit the bell, hit everything down there. And as always, my name is Tronage. Fly strong.